Okay. Update time. True fashion of this week. Job will cancel. So update on making it back or not. We've got two hours forty-seven left until we need eleven hours off. Well, good morning and hello and welcome back for another another video. It's Friday at last. If you are new to the channel and you've not seen my videos before, hello, my name is Harriet. I'm a class one tramper in the UK. I'm in the process of immigrating to America to get a green card to drive the trucks out there. So if you are new, please subscribe down below and um, we'll get into this video. We're going to um, Pocklington this morning for six o'clock to a tire place and do shipping containers. So let's get into it. Making our way out of here now. Past all the wagons that have been abandoned when there's loads of spaces left, but oh well. It is what it is, isn't it? There we go, we've got some air pressure now. We can finally we can finally get to maximum height on the seat. The seat was sunk right down then for some reason. It's a slightly older trailer that I've got on. It's um must just have a tiny 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 air leak on it or something that when you parked up for 15 hours just um, depletes everything no bother we're on our way and we're on, a, on our way to Pocklington like I say to a tired place we've got a reload at Bradford for 10 o'clock it's some um, textile place out there so that's going to be um, bit challenging because this tyre place here would be a good couple of hours and it had a thought um, but we'll certainly see obviously things can change if you've been watching the videos you know things do like to change quite regular at the minute it's a bit up in the air it's all over the place stuff keeps getting cancelled stuff rebooked all that jazz so but we're out of the truck stop and we're on our way to Pocklington. It's got us there at half past five and so we're due at six o'clock. So we've got a little leeway. We started at half past four this morning. We've only got 15 hours left. We've only got till half five tonight to get back to the yard and home. Um, this trailer is due a service today that we've got on. We picked it up yesterday. It were, um, we were asked to pick it up from the yard, which we did, up in Doncaster, to get it serviced. So we'll, we could have probably got it serviced last night, but I decided to run to run to Glue's services out of Gold to park up for the night, and we'll get it serviced today. We're back to Leeds anyway with the Bradford job to the Leeds yard, well, to Freightliner in Leeds, so we can just run around Connor to the Leeds yard to get it serviced which will benefit us for a Friday because it's probably going to be about one two o'clock by then so it'll probably just be box something up for the next for next week and head back to the yard which that'll certainly do for us it's got it's pretty well an hour in these roadworks roadworks that have been here for years now on bridge here at Gull. Oh, well, we'll get through them. So, we'll get on, get over to Pocklington and see what's happening over there. Oh, we're just coming to under two miles to the job. It's been fairly quiet all the way, really. We had a good run. 37 minutes driving from when we pulled out of the space. It's not too bad. Say roads have been like this all the way near enough pitch black. Been a little bit on M62 at coming over Big Bridge at Goal. Apart from that, it was it's just been roads like this all the way. But no bother that I said they've been quiet. Luckily we ain't got that heavy a load and it's only about 13 tons, something like that in this. Just the brand new tires stacked floor to ceiling in it. So that's okay. We managed to keep some speed because of that. 
If you've been watching the channel, you'll know, you'll know this shell garage will come out here a few times from Yarrow when we do that. ADR load will come out at this roundabout here. Another garage that's shut as well. That's two shell garages along here that are shut for um, looks like refurbishment works. First time I've seen that. I want to get them open because it's, that one's a popular one there because you can get wagons in. Alright, so we're second left on this road, I think. It's not the first industrial estate, it's the second one. They have got a warehouse, it's Bond Tires on the right here. But we're at the overflow warehouse. It says on the paperwork, which is this one down here. It's where it's bringing me to. So it's not the first one, which is here. No, not this one. It's not this one, industrial estate. It's the next little one. I just don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss it because I imagine it's easily done in a pitch black. I can see some buildings for it anyway. You can see the warehouse. We'll start indicating. I'm trying to slow down a spot there. I'm guessing it's where the light is. Yeah, it's where the it's where the junction of the light is opposite it. That's okay then. Just try and tuck over. Yeah, bond tires. Oh. So I believe we are to the right here. If I remember right. Yeah, the fitness play. Yeah, I can see all the tire racking and that in front. Well, that's happy days. That certainly is happy days. So we've got one half of the gate open. The wall obviously stops short. Won't block that gate because I imagine cars are still turning up. So we can just um, be out of the way a little bit. So if I pull off to, just to the side here, we'll be, um, we'll be laughing at that because, like I say, there's, there's room for them to get in still. We're not blocking anything apart from little turning circle but we'll just keep an eye on it so I'll get off and hopefully see see if someone might be here actually because let's like say the gates open the lights are in the office so we'll go have a look so we are in we're getting tipped um, said it'd be about an hour so that's not that bad we should be out of here for just after seven o'clock uh, we've got that ten o'clock job at Brad bradford yeah bradford um after this so we've got plenty of time to get over there we'll have three hours to get over there so that's a bit of a bonus um so we're just getting tipped in the yard now there's stuff all over the place in here so we shouldn't be too long really we've just coming up to 20 past six so we should only be at another 40 minutes they reckon and then we should be done so fingers crossed and we can get on with the rest of the day then right we have just getting out of here now just come up to 727 at the moment calls are required final alternative route no because Bradford's in a low emission zone it says it's a toll but it isn't that car's made a bit of a mess of that that car that's just pulled out to turn right just stopped in Midlock Road now I think someone should just let them go though we're gonna go after this car this um, Audi here we go when we get a gear we will so slow at changing gears when it's empty at times there we go we're away we're away and on our way to Bradford so yeah we're due at 10 o'clock in here so it's not that bad always makes me wonder why cars when they're like that car that were there they wanted to turn right out of where they live but there's around about half a mile down the road surely it'd be easier for them to turn left 
and uh, just go down to the roundabout and back up, wouldn't it? I would, personally. I certainly would. But we're going to make headway now towards this job at Bradford. Uh, we'll get there. We'll try and get there early. It's Friday. It's nine. We'll try and get there about nine o'clock. We don't need diesel. We've got ninety-nine percent left still, so we're all fine and dandy on that. But I'm just going to get off and ring the office quickly to make sure we are still doing this reload. I've not heard otherwise, but it's best to double check before we commit too far. So let's go find out if we're still doing it. Yeah, we're still doing this reload at Bradford. So we're on the way there. We're 49 miles away. We'll head straight there. And try and get loaded at some textile place there. But this box stinks of rubber because it's been brand new tyres that have been in it regrettably so we, um, not a lot we can do about that really like I say this must be an awful road to get out on this absolutely horrendous but, oh well so yeah we'll get straight to Bradford try, and, try the job early and get loaded and um, we'll see from there but I mean, it might turn out to be a nice Friday, but <laughs> I won't hold my breath just yet. We're in good old dependable Bradford. Dependable for having traffic and bad drivers at the minute. I think it probably always has though, but oh well. It's actually quite quiet to be fair. I'm surprised how quiet it has been on the way over. The M62 was really, really, really quiet. Um, no, 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 Matrix will have to put all on it to say that there were congestion or out like that, which is surprising for like, I've just come up to half past eight in the morning now. But, oh, well, but we'll take that. We certainly will take that. We'll just turn left at these next set of traffic lights. And then uh, we'll be 0.6 of a mile away from the job might be a little while trying to wait to turn here by the looks of the queue but we have got a filter lane that goes round to the left coming up in a minute oh, so if we can at least get to that we can just keep going then can't we at least but no worries just hope to load it early maybe you know we might get a decent finish today potentially be a change wouldn't it certainly will be nice let's have a look literally just like down there that we're going we want to go left oh I'm sure there's no cyclist in cycle lane through that give way junction try and spot traffic get yeah, the traffic from the right quite a bit of traffic because lights have just changed now might be in our favour, we'll get out if they're real. There we go, we're out. We are out and away, so we're looking for Hubert Street, which my sat nav's not picked up Hubert Street, annoyingly. Alright, so we're gonna have to take it steady down here. We don't want to miss it because you've got to come in off of this Hubert Street. My sat nav's got me coming in on a different one now. One of them I recognise street because I can look to the top of it on Google Maps to see what it's like for getting down. I think it's, I think I can spot it. Yeah, I can see it. Now I've zoomed in a little bit on my map, I can see Hubert Street on the sign and the name on it. So it's not this one, it's third, fourth one on the left. And in that one. Oh dear me, it's not this one, this is Laurel Street, ain't the one after this either, it's the one after that, but in that, Hubert Street's here, oh, I think we just got lucky actually, traffic lights are on the red, so we can take both sides of the road, that's it, Howarth Scoring Company is where we're heading to, to load, 
So this is Hubert Street. It says to come in on Hubert Street because it's right in front of it. And I would come out further down on the road where my sat nav's trying to tempt me. My postcode's right for the sat nav, it's bringing me up in here. But it's telling me to come in from the other end. But we've been given this road, so we'll come in this way. Just stop to make sure there's no coming. Nothing coming. So over we go. So this is Victor. Christ knows where we go. I'm not sure if we do need to come in other way thinking about it. So we've been given Hubert Street, so no idea. No idea. No wagons, no parking wagons turn in. That lad doesn't seem to want to know there, does he? Well, I don't know where to go and I've got a van behind me now. No one seems to want to know really what to do. So I'm just gonna pull up so van can go somewhere. Cause I don't know where to go. I just don't know where to go. There ain't one sign up at all on where anything to do. Right, I'll go find out what we're doing and get sorted here. Well, apparently we're in the wrong entrance. Nice to be told things, isn't it? But, oh well, it is what it is try and back out of here and across this road it looks quiet that's behind us never want to be down the other, other entrance he says they were an electrician that told me that van that were behind me he said it looks like he said they probably want to be down at the other one I said all right there is so we'll go have a look but I ain't going to spin it there I don't think to get out there's a car coming down they've gone load it back out onto the road because I'm guessing we're going to load on here then is, my, is the guess but who knows who certainly knows so I'm just going to take it slow take it slow I'm hoping we can get turn left down there that we need to but we'll certainly find out in a minute or two won't we that at all I've at least got to turn this way then I can reverse back so let's have a look I don't think I'm even going to fit through this a bit trailer that's the problem I think well we're through Or we pick up any speed. Right, let's see if we can get down this road then. Fingers crossed we can. Don't look great, does it though, at the end? We can't get through. Locked off. Lads told me to come down this one, you see. Can we get up this street? right way can I? I bet this happens all the time here with wagons see if we can get this round if we can get it round I'm laughing a bit at least we're facing the right way aren't I? 
watch Fence and Connor at the building. Come on. But I'm not first and last to try and spin it here. I'll get it round here. We're round ish. We'll easily get round when we get in gear. Just have to take the curb, I think, here to avoid this blue car. Right, so we've spun round at least. So one step done. led round to the other entrance so I do apologise sat nav you was correct but we've just been we've just been given Hubert Street as an address and usually when we've been given a specific name it means to come in off of this road but want the case this time back away oh this is always fun I love it round here I just absolutely love it round here. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Right, so we want to go up here, left, and then left again. Like I said, my sat nav was right. We've just been given a different street name, so we followed that. And we've got to try and get let out of here. Now, lights have changed, but no one's going to let us go. These are going to let us go. Next car coming. If we can make it. So there is a wagon coming up. We ain't gonna stop to let us go. Car amp pulled off at the front. There we go. Now I've got someone crossing in front of me. Let's see how I can get out now. Worked out well actually, there were a gap in traffic. There we go, we're out. Shall we thank them again? So we're looking for Birklands Road. On then there we go oh dear no, it's not this one not the next one i think it's just after the shell garage and the fire station oh it's this Bert Bertland's just chicanos that's what he said chicano so i think the electrician did say probably to come out to this road oh i know where i am Like they don't see you in it. Like they don't see you at times, but so with big green gate is what it said. Is that on a timer or in the top? It's like it's on a sensor. Oh no, there's a buzzer there. Alright, I'll go ring buzzer and we'll see what they've got to say. Alright. Update time, true fashion of this week. Job were cancelled. Job were cancelled. So we've found somewhere to park up here. We've only been waiting 11 minutes and Mersk have got back to us. So good on you, Mersk. And am I gonna get up this one? Yeah, we'll get up that one. I can't go any further down because it's oh in fact I said I was gonna go. I might be to, I'll probably turn left out of here and um, go go down to big dual carriageway bypass I think. Oh, um, no, we'll go right. We'll go right because I can come out that way then out of, out of Leeds and jump on 621 from there then. Obviously we just gotta wait. So yeah the job were cancelled it were wool was all over the place in there. But we got out. 
got the empty box. They won't sign the paperwork, uh, regrettably, but oh, it was one of them. But when we get out of here, we are laughing. Can't really see. We're going. We're going. We're out. We're out and on our way to. Well, we're on our way to the yard actually to go get this trailer serviced. Um, and then we're going to get this box off in Freightliner Leeds when they can get us a VBS. And then we're going to into Narcon. Then we're getting a um, York for this afternoon to cover at, at Snedham Farm. It's a grain place, we've done it a few times. So. Yeah, again, transport strikes again. It never, never pans out how you think it's going to pan out annoyingly. But oh well, what can you do? What can you do? So we'll um, make our way out of Bradford, get back to Leeds, get this trailer serviced and all hunky dory and that, and then crack on with the rest of the day. We need to keep an eye on what time it is though, because we've only got till half past five today, and I would like to make it home this week, uh, this Friday. But if we can't, we can't annoyingly, but it'll be what it'll be, won't it? And no more or no less, so get out of here and get on with the rest of our day now, hopefully. Right, so we've got the trailer serviced. We're making our way out of the lead yard. We've just come up to 10 to, 10 to 11, I thought I'll have half an hour in here. Um, that way we've had a break we've got a six hour roll so we don't forget about it trying to rush over to this job at york well we're not rushing over it's late anyway it was due at eight o'clock this morning and obviously we're just coming up to the to 11 o'clock um so yeah we are slightly late but oh well what can we do what can we do oh, gonna put code in quickly give this camera a wipe as well at least get one side done sunshine on it you can just see all the dust that's set on it need to try and get other side done when we're in freightliner so we're gonna get round here get this box lifted off in and get a 20 footer on out of northern containers I can get out of here it's busy around here today it is busy but we're round and we're out Oh, it's warming up in that sun. It's lovely and warm at the minute. There we go. Past Royal Mail. And get this box on. Say it's just been one of them weeks this week. Or well, the last couple of days anyway. Yesterday were one of them days and today almost one of them, but we should get two jobs completed today at least. Fully completed. So we um, should be all good. I think there is quite a few of us going to um, this job today. There's been quite a few of us there already. Got, I think they've got 10 bookings here today. My friend Gary had the half seven one. He's got another one to go back with today. And then obviously I've got the eight o'clock one this, from this morning to go uncover so must have been in touch with, sh with customer to sort sort things out so they'll load it late I'm hoping I'm certainly hoping but we'll see I um they've just messaged the office to ring them so I'll go give them a bell and see what they're wanting and um, I'll catch you all when we get in the box on it northern containers Right, we're finally in Northern Containers. I've just got to five past. Let's see what they're doing. I've just come up to five past two at the at five past twelve. Sorry. At the minute, it's turning again into one of them days still. But oh well, we'll, we'll slowly but surely get there. It might be tight for us getting back home tonight. We've got till half past five, so we've got just under five and a half hours to get over to York, get loaded, we don't know how many is going to be there. You know, there could be six, seven wagons in front of us, we just do not know. And then um, 
got to go get it off at Maritime at Whitwood after this. It's um, going to be a bit of a hectic one, I think, today to say the least. But because we're going to need a break at some point, we might have to have a break at um, at the job at um, at York. But we'll see. We'll certainly see how we get on. See if we can pull up round. This lift has gone round. Is there a space up there? Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh, I'm going to have to go. You can pull up a hell of a lot more than that scan you. That's there. You can really. Oh, Christ Almighty! There's some mud and some puddles in here. Truck was clean at least, but I don't think it's as such now. I don't think it's going to be as such now. But oh, we'll just have to wait here and see what's what. Oh, hopefully, oh, there's a lifter there. I can just see him lifting the box up now on the right. Hopefully, we're not too long in here and we can get on our way over to York and see what um, see what is happening out there. But I if that's going to be mine, and if this corn could. Possible see. Wait here. No, oh, he's just putting that there for storage. He's just putting that one down there. So, yeah, we'll um, get off and get a box on. I've uh, got to check it as well when here before we leave because it needs to be clean, dry, and odor free. So, I'll get that box checked to get it on, and uh, we'll start making headway over towards over towards York and see what this load's going to be like. Two mile away to the job. Uh, good run over again. Been very, very quiet on the roads. Very, very quiet. We've been straight out all the roundabouts on the 1237, which is a rarity. They're coming out. Thought they might have a bit more gusto than that about them to get out of the junction, but oh well. Surprise collision one and didn't go off on that one. Thought it might have done, but it didn't. So yeah, we're just making our way through Shipton by Bennington. We're nearly there, it's a farm that we're loading up. We're loading some beans at a farm. The Gary's already there, there's one in front of us that's there as well. That would he were behind Gary at Northern Containers and just in front of me at Northern Containers. So he's just got there now so we can get loading. And then um, it'd be me that will be getting loaded after him, all being well, unless there's someone else in the in between us that we don't know about. But we'll um, we'll certainly see. Hopefully not. It's just come up to one o'clock now, so we've got four and a half hours to get loaded here. I'm probably going to have to have a break here, I think. But I might be able to get half an hour in before we're getting actually loaded, so if it's not that bad, then it's not horrendously bad. Um, then get loaded and then get over to Maritime at Whitwood to get the box off. And then, still haven't found out what we're doing tomorrow, on Monday yet, sorry, not tomorrow, Saturday tomorrow, Harry, come on. Um, there's some on fire there by the looks of it. Um, still haven't found out anything for Monday, so it's just a case of sit and wait and hope. Hopefully, something nice, but we um, we wait to see. We definitely wait to see. So it's 0.6 of a mile to turn it left. It's literally over there. Is where it is. It's just over there. I think it's the first one we go to. Can't, oh yeah, I can see Gary in building. I can just see him in building. Just. So. He'll see me coming as well. Can't come in sneakily this time. Just past this Gulf petrol station that way. Turning left at where that pickup's coming out get the engine brake on full start slowing us down and then we are laughing then it's 
BMW trying to come past us behind. But yeah, it was nearly into the back of us. You were nearly into the back of us because I think you were more bothered about trying to see what were coming up the road than actually trying to uh, not run into the back of a lorry that's in front of him. But oh well, it's been his fault, not mine. I was slowing in plenty of time. So just in in here somewhere um, I can see the little bridge thing I think just yeah I can see way bridge as well there we go so we're turning here and then we're golden I have done this job quite a few years ago and when I first came it was absolutely pitch black along here absolutely pitch black I might have even gone to the wrong one I might have gone to one further down as well actually but we've not done that this time so we'll go in and get weighed in and then form an ordinary queue oh, oh gosh we're going to go weigh bridge first we do have been a toilet here I could do it toilet as well but oh well Oof, there we go we're on so we'll go get weighed in and then we're good to go all right so we're just done getting loaded now you can see we're just backed into a little grain shed here the back got a conveyor belt at the other side of this now behind me so they're just putting some plywood in to um, hold the beans in while they load them so we'll hopefully be loaded soon just making our way off the way bridge we are finally loaded so update on making it back or not we've got two hours 47 left until we need 11 hours off it's gonna be tight as this it's gonna be tight we're an hour away from maritime we've got four o'clock bbs in there if we're not out before <laughs> if we're not out before five past four we're probably not making it back tonight Regrettably, but oh well, it's um, one of those, isn't it? I suppose this car is. Which I didn't pull out on them, they were, they were indicating the whole way that sports car that went past, so I was tempted to go, but I thought I'll wait until the flash, and they never did because they were going straight on. So, yeah, we got 27 and a half ton of beans on, so. We're um, just about the 41 ton mark at the minute. Just going to make it lovely for getting out of this road here. But uh, what can you do? We've got 8 o'clock Bradford on Monday morning. <laughs> Expect distribution is what we've got. We've done it a few times, it's all right place. So we've got that for 8 o'clock. Out of freight and a Doncaster, we're not going to be able to get it on tonight or in the morning because it shuts at 5 o'clock in the morning. Just freight on it on Caster, so if that's a Monday morning job to get that on and run it. Um, but apart from that, it's just been quiet, catching up with the driver behind. We've known him for a while since we started here two years ago. So he's catching up with the answer him for a while. I'm hoping we can get a decent run out of here. Oh, so we're gonna have to go. A van coming to the right and some cars but there's nothing coming other way sorry pal there we go we're out so that's not a lot too bad definitely had a lot last time i seem to remember last time we were a bit of a battle getting out there but today was a lot easier which is happy happy at that oh dear just can't win at the minute i say it's and I'm just going to be tight making it back if, if we can make up a bit of time it's got us there at 5 to 4 getting at quarter to 4 on this BBS we um, should be laughing but obviously we're coming up to quarter to 3 traffic's going to be a little bit against us now we'll have to um, wait and see as what happens it's going to be just over an hour back to the yard I think from Whitwood or thereabouts 
<laughs> be what it'll be. If not, we're in Whitwood truck stop tonight. Be 11 hours off and start in the morning about five o'clock or something like that. But not ideal. I'd rather make it home tonight. But I just don't think it's going to happen. Annoyingly and unfortunately, quite a bit on this weekend. But oh well, it's transport at the end of the day didn't help us getting done over at that job this morning at Bradford I think if we'd have loaded that they might have just sent us away but you know sent us home after that but I think that's just what's going to that's just what screwed things up a little bit today but oh well it happens it does happen so it's just been a bit of a theme this weekend it and cancelled jobs and running late and all that lot but it's nearly the end of the week this is the last job of the week we're getting there slowly but surely. Looks like a nice pub that there, that dock down in the arms. So we're gonna get off, get on towards Maritime at Whitwood and hope. Just hope it's a clear run. But I'm not holding my breath just yet, they're making it back. Alright, so welcome to good old Whitwood. Well, nearly when we get under this bridge anyway, it's Whitwood. We just come up to 20 to 3, uh, 20 to 4 sorry at the minute. The minute it's got me back at the yard at 4.41 so we've got about 50 minutes ish to play with at the minute but traffic is going to get worse at the minute, a hell of a lot worse. It's queuing on M62 for the A1 at the minute so it's just in looking good. What the hell there's traffic here? this I've never known it queuing along here so it it's not looking great that they're getting back annoyingly really frustratingly but what can we do just got to get this box off and then see from there really got to see from there which is just not not ideal but it is what it is now in it we're sort of committed at the minute and I think this is them queuing to get into Whitwood Truck Stop to get diesel, this queue. Oh, God, and Bennett. What a life, eh? It's living the dream now. Right, living the dream on a Friday here. As we wait to get through whatever this blockage is. I think they are, I think they're queuing to get into the truck stop out on the road. And obviously traffic coming down, we can't get past at the minute. Well, they might have just pulled in actually, they might have just cleared road. Or oh, not, there's something else further down now. Jesus Christ. I'll let this, um, I'll let this Audi out. Roadworks, that's why. Roadworks right outside. Uh, anyway, sorry, Kalina, you can go. I thought you were going to go straight out then. You might as well wait until we turn to red, then you can get out clearly then. That is out anyway, he's coming this way. I'm sure you're indicating to the right then to go that way. But Kalina, oh well, it is what it is. We just got all that weight going, so we wanted to keep it going. We're not going to fit through that gap. Alright, come on. Get going, get going, get going. There we go. Right, he's turning into, he's turning off anyway. That's Kalina that were behind us. Or he's still got his hazards or something. Like now he's turning. Right, let's see what it's like in here then. Oh, they're not queuing down the road. That's half a bonus, isn't it? That is half a bonus. But that doesn't mean that they're not queuing inside. So I'm going to get off and get this off in here because it's Mary Tanger done. The, the funny about everything in here, they're always worse than others, so I'll catch you when we're leaving here. 
Well, I'm stunned. Married time, we're straight in and out. We've just come up to 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Quarter to 4. Quarter to 4 when we went in, we've been 5 minutes. It took us longer to get down to L than it has to get box off. I'm stunned. Never happens like that, but we have got delay on route. It's got us there at 1 minute past 5 at the minute. It's. Um, just don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go for it or not. I just don't know whether to go for it or not because obviously that delay could disappear. But that delay could get worse. I don't know. I just don't know. I just can't make my mind up to be honest. I think I'm going to have to go for it, Anna. We're going to have half an hour leeway. So it's got us out 5.01. Gonna bang on 30 minutes leeway, it's showing on mine. I don't know. I don't know. What am I gonna do? Am I parking up? Am I going? I think I'm going for it. I'm going for it because if it gets I can always run it to go to glues where we parked last night, you see at least. It's only one junction down on 62. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Go M62, M18, like sat now saying. Because it's still quicker than going down A1. And then um, we'll sort it out from there. And if it is queuing really bad and we can't get in, and we're not going to make it, then we'll go park at Glues. So I'm going to get off and let my office know what the plan is. And um, we'll see how it all works out now. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it goes well. Right, I decided to come A1 and end. It was just it, that M18 is knackered at minute. There's been an incident at junction two to one, and they're queuing all the way back, nearly to junction four. So, regrettably, this way we're quicker. We've got hour and 18 minutes left, and we're what, 1,000 yards to the road works so it's it's going to be a hit and miss at the minute I think it's certainly going to be hit and miss at the minute as to whether we make it or not um, but it's just a case of waiting and seeing really isn't it whether we make it or not um, I say it's just not looking it's looking alright to be fair if we can get moving in these road works fairly soon we're um, we're laughing, so who knows? But I got my six o'clock BBS for Monday morning anyway, so we've got that sorted, so we can get that job started on Monday and hopefully be on time. But it's going to be tight as well on Monday, I think. Oh, it's all tight a minute and it's all go, it's non-stop. So we should hopefully be moving through here in next five minutes I should be through so we'll see what happens oh we can't gumble at this we've got 55 minutes left and we're just getting off for the M18 don't know if you can see them all queuing on the bridge we'd have had to sit in that from all the way at the junction so we um, I think we went right call coming down this way my sat now the delays were just getting longer and longer and longer and I rooming and ironing and whether just to go saying you know go put it in um, blues but I think we made the right decision that is just not moving the other way I think it's two three mile or something like that I think I've heard it radio from junction it's queuing up to to where lane closure is so that's an hour to get through from here but it does get busy junction three on a night this way um, on an evening so it'd have been bad anyway a little bit but it'd have been even worse now this would be queuing right this would be queuing six seven mile past this junction probably right back to um junction four probably a further now that's um not that's not good that one's not nice to sit in is that on a friday but we'll make it back to yard now all being well 
barren and massive, massive <gasps> disasters. Sorry. Oh. So we're all good. I'm so glad we're making it back. It's been one of them weeks, just weeks, but well, we've been chasing a tail with jobs running late since Tuesday. Then, um, Tuesday, or it? No, it was Tuesday, yeah, when we had that late job at Wolverhampton that we're about was four hours late. I've just sort of been chasing and then, you know, work going wrong and jobs not been there and jobs being cancelled and not telling us and that is, oh. yeah, it's been a frustrating week at times, but we've met it. I don't know what that buffering is that's trailer brake that are buffering did you see it shaking then cab when we were braking that what trailer brakes pumping harder and then softer it's very weird this is trailer very very weird for a denison trailer as well it's usually sdc's that are like that with the um, with the brakes but we'll keep an eye on that i'll maybe take connections off and give them a Give them a tap, see if they've got any dust or in them that might be causing that. But there we go, let's see what this queue looks like going on to... Um, no, I'm just watching this Volvo because I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see where he came from. Yeah, that's, that's um, URC that we were with today. That was the other driver that was at the, um, at the job. We've been following him around most of the afternoon. He's just coming up the slip road now, so we left Maritime an hour before we did, and he's just coming up the slip road now. Wow, yeah, we made a good choice. That will queue, that's queuing us back as far as I can see going the other way. Not on this road, on M18. So that'll be a good 40 minutes to get to the slip road, probably. If you queuing further, then I can see that's two mile. We can see. Jesus. It's not great getting out of the estate to go home. I've got to come up with all this to get back. Because it's all queuing to get onto the um, M18. Jesus Christ. Oh, I might stay at work a little bit, to be honest. That's, that's going to be gruesome to sit in that. But, oh, dear me. It never ends, does it, this week? Get me home. Just get me home. Down. Two more round, well, three more roundabouts technically, but we'll just turn left at the next one after this. And then that is us home, and he could be bothered indicating off the roundabout in the MAN. So he just went in total wrong lane and then just cut straight across front of everything. Oh well. Oh well. We just come round now come to the yard so I'm going to quickly get off and start sorting some things out and I'll give a mileage review once I've um, got some things sorted and that's a welcome sight coming into the yard 48 minutes on the clock so into we're out of time so we're perfect timing perfect timing That's happy days on that. So just a phone call that we're coming in that I had to sort out and take then. Oh, we took it and we sorted. So we're in and packed up. So we can't grumble like that. Oh, got a minute, another phone call from him. Hang on a minute. Ah, here we go. Phone call's done, hopefully, for now to get an outro done. So, yeah, it's been a been an alright week this week. It's been an interesting week. It's been a bit frustrating at times. A bit tiring at times. On Tuesday, it was a long day, wasn't it? It was 3 o'clock start. Over to down to um, Gateway and then up to Wolverhampton. Box off at Canic. And up to um, Junction 29 truck stop. But what mileage have we done this week? wrong menu doing 1289 mile we've done this week we've covered 
So, you yeah, know, it's been all right. We've done over a thousand miles. We've had an all right week. We've done 3,034 for the last two weeks of a fortnight. So, done some miles. We've done covered some miles. So, I'm going to get off and end this video. If you are new, please subscribe. Help the channel grow. It would really mean a lot to help this channel grow. Like the video as well, please. It really does... Um, help out with the view count as well if we get a video with some good likes on it it just helps the next video and then the next video it starts a bit of a chain reaction and also uh, you know recommend it to a friend and, and everything like that and share it about you know, we're trying to get this channel to grow and and succeed a bit so i'm going to get off and i will see you all next week